Morning, y'all. This weekend, we're headed over to Battle Bogs over at Plant Bamboo in Okeechobee, Florida. Just about got everything locked and loaded. Did most of it last night. Should be a pretty awesome weekend. I'll be honest, I'm a little bit nervous because we got Daytona truck meet next weekend. So I definitely don't want to break anything this weekend because I will be super pressed for time to try to get it fixed. We're supposed to be leaving for Daytona truck meet in about six days from today. So there's literally no room for error. It's going to be a hell of a time just getting the truck clean so it's presentable at the truck show. And just to add to my anxiety, old J.H. Diesel and the Mad Scientist have been doing nothing but ragging on me, telling me about how I'm going to blow a bunch of trailer tires on the way there and how my engine's on its last leg and it's going to grenade at any second. Well, it's a damn Duramax with a bunch of Duramax bald eagles under the hood. They ain't going to be fine. I don't know why they got to be talking so much smack all the time. We're just waiting for the hyena to get here to get all his gear loaded up. And then it's go time. Time to go do some mud bogging. Maybe a little bit of truck tugging. Oh, God, it's going to be a great weekend. So stay tuned because it should be a super bitching video. Well, look who it is. Already raiding the cooler. Usually I like to take it easy on my birthday. So I'm going to start right now taking it easy. Yeah? Cheers. Nice jello shot. Mm hmm. <laughs> oh, man, I was bitching. It's not even noon, dude. I know. Hi, Tommy Lee. Well, guys, you know, I'm trying to have a good performance tonight. I don't know if I should do a shot. I'm sure that happened every show. Where's the vodka? See what I got to deal with? Oh, it's party time. Time to get her done. <laughs> So we're about an hour into our trip. How you doing, Kurt? Perfect. I'm right where I need to be. <laughs> That's why I didn't do all them shots with you. Whatever, bro. <laughs> <laughs> the only part of this trip that sucks the big one. All the trees are lower than hell. Which makes no sense because a bunch of mega trucks come down this road. <laughs> It's party time. Well, day oh yeah, just like that, we're at Plant Bamboo, ready to go rock and ruin. Got camp all set up. Gotta get everybody loaded up in the truck, ice down the drinks. Go hit that muddle over there. Bam.
Roku decided to join the party. We're here. We are here. <laughs> With his real mud truck, he says. Double trouble truck. Five Ford gas engine in it. Pretty cool looking truck though. For a Ford. We got our boy Allen. Slow motion mega truck.
Oh yeah, that's gonna be good. mud bogging. I decided to send it and see how far we could go. I think I blew a coolant line right off the engine. So I started overheating like crazy. Had to get pulled out, drug back to camp. Now we're going to see if we can fix her. After a little looking, we found the culprit. This fitting. Looks like it got a little bit toasty and came off. So how this works is, Justin actually just showed me. You got this line right here and then you got this line. Both of them run into the cab up yonder, up there, like towards the firewall. So what happened was it blew this line off. So basically I just had to pull the second line off and then I basically just looped them. I had to cut this guy off. This was the return from the cab. This one, oh no, this one feeds the cab and this one is the return. So I basically just cut this line off and then I just had to use all these clamps and looped it back around. So we just bypassed the cab heater. So it seems to be operating pretty good. Time to go back out there and keep playing. Nose to nose and do a tug in reverse. Should be pretty good. 
What do you think? I think I'm gonna pull his ass backwards. You're gonna pull his ass backwards? Forward? You're gonna pull forward. <laughs> oh boy. I don't know, boy. You got them Duramash bald eagles under the hood of that thing. Fuck real deal.
morning, y'all. So we made it back to camp last night under our own power. Successful night for sure. But we're dumping coolant everywhere again. But we actually only got to hook up one time. We let her eat really good like usual. And suddenly we had some kind of a fire go on in the engine bay. I'm thinking it was my firewall material. It's done that before. I got to go and pull all that factory firewall stuff off and replace it with something a little more heavy duty because that stuff catches all the time when that hood stack starts cooking but uh then we started dumping coolant everywhere started overheating had to get pulled off the tug pad not our finest hour we got pulled to the side decided to let everything kind of chill for a little while and we went and we're hanging out at the party and all came back went to go leave drive back to camp the truck wouldn't turn over and i honestly thought the engine was locked up i've never blown an engine before i'm sure it's probably gonna happen eventually with this one but uh, engine wouldn't even crank over at all. Luckily, Alan had some tools with him, had some jumper cables. Come to find out, I actually left my headlights on. Totally amateur hour move. I think I was all caught up in everything between the uh, coolant dumping everywhere, the fire. Totally forgot to turn my headlights off. And that's why our battery was dead and the engine wouldn't crank over. So went ahead and hooked up the jumpers, gave her a jump, got her rolling again, filled it back up with coolant. Thought we fixed the coolant issue. Got back to camp, coolant all over the ground again. So. About to get up in there and see if I can figure out what the hell's going on so we can load her on the trailer. But so far, successful weekend though, we did get to tug a little bit, did a little bit of mud bogging, got to hang out with our boys. All in all, you can't complain with a weekend like that. Now, time to get her ready for a Daytona truck meet. Biggest truck show in the country. This is what our rig looks like. Uh, two, three days before we're supposed to leave? Yeah seen some better days I mean there's a little bit of dirt on it but uh, that spot free rinse she'll probably be okay so a little diagnosing the fire definitely caused some issues it melted some wires I have to go through and place all that but our coolant issue I don't know if I can get the camera back there to show you it's right that, that hose right there it is all charred melted and it's got a big freaking hole in it right here dumping coolant everywhere so I'm just gonna have to replace this hose not too bad and I gotta replace whatever wiring got cooked during the fire figure out what to do with that firewall material not too bad tater not too bad well that's a wrap on the weekend got everything loaded trucks on the trailer under our own power now we gotta go get ready for a Daytona truck meet hashtag show truck well, actually, surprise, weekend's not quite over yet. We're here in the auto parts store because the starter took a dump on the old mud truck before we get her off the trailer back at home. So now we're gonna get a new starter, get that installed. Then we start cleaning, figuring out what burned up. Yeah, this one looks much better. That'll do it. All right, so new starter's in. Hopefully that fixes it. Here, come on, baby. Talk to me. Talk to me. Oh, yeah. Really, that's what I'm talking about. Now, that is a wrap on the weekend. Stay tuned for Daytona Prep Week. Hoorah. If y'all enjoyed the video, subscribe to our channel. Hit that button right there. While you're at it, hit the like button at the bottom of your screen. You can also check out our website, killingitlifestyle.com. There you can follow the Killing It crew and order your own apparel so everyone will know you're super. Killing it. <laughs>